Hello everyone, my name is Lavos, and this is going to be my updated vanilla graphics guide. Now, there's been a lot of discussion regarding whether we should have models from Legion in the future legacy servers that will be released by Blizzard. Uh, I'm not saying that we should or we shouldn't, but in case we don't, this guide will help you guys edit your in-game vanilla WoW graphics using either the config file or using the in-game console commands. So, if you want to use the config file, our first step right here is to open up our clients. Go to WTF folder and then click on config. So right here we have a bunch of uh, modifiable commands that we can that will help like modify our in-game experience. So right away you can see you can adjust the camera move speed, you can if we scroll here, we can adjust the shading of the pixels, we can adjust particle density, we can adjust you know, a bunch of uh, modifiable options. Now, this is the easiest way to do this. Um, personally, I prefer the in-game console command way because in case you edit something and your client or your in-game experience is undesirable or you lag a little bit, you can kind of like go one by one inside the console and adjust that, right? But, um, I'll be, I'll be providing a config file on the YouTube description, so you can just kind of like copy that and then paste it into your own config file. So now let's move on to the console command part of our guide right here. Let's left click our vanilla WoW folder and right click the WoW.exe file and hit create shortcut. So we have our shortcut right there. Right click that, go to properties and then under the target uh, kind of area over here you're gonna click after the parentheses do one space then do a let me let's see if i can get this bigger no i can't uh let's just do a dash and then console right so dash console and then hit apply and now we've created a wow kind of exe file where we can head into the console and modify our in-game settings and commands and uh, using the console system. So we can open up our WoW client and, and let's do that. Okay, now that we're in game, we can access the kind of console command center and we can modify certain aspects of our in-game experience. Now I'll be using commands that have been kind of explained and detailed by a person named Shadow Lurk on the old Nost forums. I will post this thread. You can use this thread as a guide to see what you like, what you don't like, etc. etc. So to access the console command center, we want to hit the tilde key. Um, I'll post a picture of it, but it's right to the left of the number one key on a typical keyboard. So right here we can type in a command and after that we can type in a numerical value to enter in that command. So for example, kind of like the most commonly known command is frill density and then any number one through I think 256. So right now like uh, what that does it affects like the shrubbery and the grass and whatnot. So right now it's like it's like my it's like a neighbor's backyard right. Everything's cut, everything's trimmed. But if you do 256 it becomes like the Amazon rainforest right. It feels like Stranglethorn Vale, the zone I'm in right now, it's like an actual jungle. So another command we can do, oh yeah, and then to like, to uh, sorry, to like kind of cement that command, you want to do, you want to enter in GX restart. And that will like kind of permanently enter in that command. So every command you enter, you can either type in all of them and then do GX restart, or you can do each one individually and then do GX restart. Just don't forget to do GX restart to enter in that command, either at the end or after one by one. If you do it one by one, uh, you can definitely see each individual um, enhancement. Whereas if you do it all at once, then do GX restart, you're gonna love the experience, but there may be some things that you modified that you don't really know um, like what command modified it. So another one I can show you would be <clears throat> FFX glow. And then so some commands are like 
zero or one, so disabled or enabled or enabled and disabled, or some are like a numerical value one through, I don't know, a billion, right? So like this frill density, it's one through 256, so I can do like 100, right? It's less pronounced, but if you like the Amazon rainforest feel, you can do 256. So another command would be ffx glow, and then one. And then that kind of, <clears throat> right, so one makes it brighter, zero makes it kind of like darker. Depends, <clears throat> depends whatever you want. So I'm gonna show you guys the kind of before and after progression of my client, how it looks before right now compared to how it looks after. So let's get to it. And there we have it. We are now done with our updates. As we can see, the foliage is pretty pronounced. The rain is insane. It feels like a, like a tsunami or a hurricane. It is absolutely pouring right now. But uh, I prefer it that way. It feels and it looks a lot better when kind of like everything is enabled. So one thing I do want to mention before, I kind of put like a little note on it, but I want to reemphasize this. If you want to keep these graphics the way they are, do not click video video options. Do not click this. Um, I have no idea why, but even just clicking it resets some of the options. And then even if you click it and you alter some other options, it like it just kind of makes everything all funky and resets it to how it was before. So don't click that. Yeah, that's right. Don't even click it. Like just leave it alone. Um, and you want to make sure that all of your settings are set before you do all this. So that is going to be the end of my guide. If you have any questions, let me know. I answer every question that people post in the comment section. And if you want to see more guides like this, stay tuned. Hopefully this was helpful and thank you for watching.